Uh, he also won the Lurus uh, Sportsman of the Year Award. Mm-hmm. Uh, Roger Federer and Novak have five, which is shocking to me. Usain mm-hmm. Bolt has four. Mm-hmm. And then you have Tiger Woods, uh, Michael Schumacher, Nadal, and Messi with two. Mm-hmm. Uh, congratulations to Novak. But to be a little controversial, are you shocked that he won Sportsman of the Year? With the tantrums he throws and all that stuff? A little bit. Only a little bit. I do think that Novak's sportsmanship towards other competitors and athletes, I respect. Right. Novak's attitude towards organizations, fans, staff, and things like that are a little bit less admirable, a little more loose from him and less consistent. But Novak, the sportsman, when competing with other sportsmen, is definitely a man worth awarding. I'll say that. Um, I think even the players he dislikes, you know, he... I love the way he behaves on the court when it comes to competitiveness and the way he interacts with other athletes. I'm a big fan of it. You know, when he gets hit by a ball, I love the fierceness he he contributes. When he loses, I love the speeches and the things he has to say and the insight he provides to his competitor. It's not really excuses. Um, So as far as the sportsmanship thing goes, I like him. I don't know. I don't know by definition of sportsmanship if the umbrella of interactions with staff in tournaments and stuff like that are included in that. Because if they are, he shouldn't have a single one. I agree. No, (laughs) I agree. But if it's just interacting with other athletes, then I, I understand why he has so many. No, I, I, that makes sense what you just said. Uh, mm. He's really respectful to his opponents. Mm. Even when he felt sick. And, and I will, uh, unlike people who, who uh, they always blame him that every time he says something, uh, when he says that he's sick, people don't believe him. Mm-hmm. And But when Nadal says it, everybody believes him. Mm-hmm. I believe that there was something wrong with him at the Australian Open, mm-hmm. but he gave full credit to Sinner. Yeah. So he's very respectful to the players yeah now the the antics he does with the crowd and all that yeah that's a little different and that to me falls under the umbrella of sportsman and if I it honestly, does you're right i honestly don't think he should win it yeah if if i don't know the dictionary definition of sportsmanship down to the nitty-gritty so like you're saying if it involves crowds referees things like that why does he have so many like I don't is it because he's just been on the tour so long? Right. I mean he's had a couple good years. But if it is the culture he builds when it comes to the way he supports other athletes, he supports up and coming tennis players, he supports his rivals and his new rivals and his old rivals, the way he treated Medvedev, the way he treats fellow Serbian tennis players. Right. We're talking about an incredible human in that regard. Right. So yeah, I I'm gonna look up that definition in the dictionary after this episode, but I'm sure the people watching um, will be able to tell us their opinions of Novak Djokovic. He has very dedicated fans and he also has very dedicated haters as well. Oh, big time. And I'm going to look up that definition for my own sanity to make sure I know whether or not he should have this award because all the other people you listed, they just seem to deserve it. Yes. I don't even doubt it. So yes, I'd like to know if Novak should be that way as well. I agree.